Hey, Jordan, welcome back. Thanks, John. Glad to hey, be it back. It seems like we, I've got my same shirt on. What, oh, no. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made sure to dress exactly the same, too. Yeah, yeah. On this we're, completely we're, different we're, day. We're, do, we're, we're doing both uh, November 2nd, November 3rd on the same day. So sorry, folks. We're, we decided Behind to batch. The scenes. We decided to batch this one. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, that, we're next day, that next day, we uh, um, actually had, I had a laundry day the next day. That's what I did in the morning was I did some, you know, walking, some explorations, and I did laundry. What did you do that next day? I don't know. I, I think I just went out exploring on, yeah. on bike. This might have been the day that I went out to the countryside. Okay. <laughs> Actually, it was the day that I went out to the countryside. I, I should okay. have sent some photos of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. That's, that's great. Well, uh, so yeah, what we're going to do here on, on, this, on this one here is we're going to actually do a little bit of uh, this video. There's, there's not really much in the way of, of audio to this until we, uh, we actually get into the, the light parade. But uh, I did shoot a little bit of Delft scenes. And so that's what we're going to see here in the very beginning is just a few uh, shots of, you know, walking around uh, in, in my neighborhood in Delft. And, uh, and I was just really blown away by the number of families that were out riding, you know, just on a normal morning. I mean, it's just, it, it's such uh, uh, an encouraging things thing to see, and uh, and obviously some you know we have our, our good friend the leaf uh, picker upper, and then as promised my laundry. <laughs> 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 it, it literally took me all day to do laundry. It was you know the small uh, washing machines and then leaving them out to dry. Uh, but then you and I decided to to ride back to the Hague. Uh, we were dissatisfied with the route that we took the very first time and folks you can you know had to be, be sure to check out that video of the our first trip to the hague uh but this time we decided to take a a, a more relaxed route and uh why don't you describe that route because uh, I, I think you had done some research on it and said we should go this way well the route we ended up taking was like ran along this uh Canal, canal or river, I think maybe it alternated between one and the other. Um, yeah. We were by water basically the entire way up there instead of kind of like sort of highway or um, busy road type yeah. scenarios. But it was peaceful the whole way out there. Yeah. In fact, the the route that we took that first time was pretty much alongside really busy North American standard sort of roads and very... It felt very much strode-like, but the one thing that it did have for it was it had these beautiful columns of trees that we were riding through. So that part was a positive, but yeah, you're you're absolutely right. This other route that we took, um, for the most part, uh, took us along some very, very pleasant uh, canals. And many of our our viewers from that first video uh, piped up and said, you went the wrong way. You should have taken the other route. Well... We, we took your advice. Well, no, we didn't. We figured it out on our own for the next trip. We, we, we did go the other route and uh, it was much more pleasant. So yeah, it was good stuff. Yeah. And it was partially trails, like, you know, yes. bike only. And then partially it was shared, uh, with cars and, yeah. um, still was really comfortable. Um, and they were still pretty narrow. So, yeah. um, any interactions with cars were pretty low speed. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And this is after we made it. <laughs> so you'll note that uh, these two smiling gents uh, were not yet in rain gear, but the rain was on its way. So this is actually mm-hmm. the venue site of uh, the tents behind us. Uh, they're getting set up for the light parade. And as I understand it, this was, uh, uh, again, uh, a celebration of the shorter days and, uh, a, you know, a festive event. This is either the second or third annual that they have done this. And it's really to encourage, uh, you know, people to make sure they light up, you know, in the, in the, in the evenings and, and have some, uh, uh, so that they can be seen, but it's also fun. It's good and festive. And uh, we'll, we'll soon see what that is like. Uh, but yeah, so we, we made it to this location. We realized we were there very, very early. <laughs> and we're like, good, 
let's go find a beer. And so we went around the corner and, and found that something. we did. And then by the time we got out, uh, yeah, it was raining. <laughs> And, uh, and look who we found right away. Hey, so there's Mark. Now we're, now we're in our rain gear. This is Mark Wagenberg, of course, uh, with Bicycle Dutch. He's there to experience it and also uh, film it. Uh, I'll be sure to have a link uh, to his video uh, in the video show notes uh, for this video. Uh, he did a fantastic job, as usual, and it was wonderful to, to hang out with him and see him. Now, was this the first time uh, for you for meeting Mark? Mm-hmm. First time, okay. yeah. Yeah, good stuff. And now we've got uh, just a few of the images uh, of getting ready for it. You can see the rain is coming down. Everybody's gathering. Okay, we are here in The Hague doing the bicycle light parade, all the holiday lights. So nice seeing all the twinkly lights. And it'll be a contest for the kids. See whose bike is decorated the most festive big urban arrow there. <laughs> all right, and there are the Bromptons. They're all set and ready to go. All right, Jordan, what do you think about all this craziness? I think I need more lights. <laughs> you need more lights. All right, man. Get them on there. They're giving away lights. They're, they're giving away cappuccinos and tomato soup and Dutch pancakes. Go get them. Those Dutch pancakes were amazing. They were amazing. And you'll notice on my bike, it's like you had your your uh, cover on. <laughs> I forgot to put my cover on my my seat cover, and so my uh, leather Brooks saddle is just getting soaked. <laughs> mm. Oh well, oops, didn't matter. Ooh. We were we were in rain gear anyway, so. I couldn't understand a word he was saying, but I think we're just getting ready to go. <laughs> just good vibes. Yeah, that's all I was picking it's all up. Good, good vibes. It's all good vibes. Is this the first time you've done a, a, an event quite like this? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. I've done night rides with people through through the city, but not with yeah. lights and not at the Netherlands. So Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was just a, a, a super fun time. And it, other than this, this section right here where we had a few people helping with traffic control and getting us through this intersection, I got the sense that we were just sort of like a critical mass. We were just sort of taking over the city. Yeah, I don't know that that's what I was expecting. Um, but I would say that in certain parts, you know, certain parts of the city, the critical mass element felt very beneficial and useful. Um, and maybe that was a little bit of a part of the intention um, right. behind this because certain parts in the center felt a little, maybe a little dicey with all the car traffic and the impatient uh, drivers. But right. yeah, we'll see that maybe coming up. Yeah, yeah. And the kids were just having a ball. <laughs> they were loving it. Yeah, I, I mean, sort of wanted is... to be one of the one of the kids in the um, in the front or back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that right there. Yeah, yeah. I know. It, it was it was really so festive and so fun to just be out there and uh, had these guys with the the trumpet and the and the drums there, uh, just kind of playing a tune. And yeah, I mean such fun i mean why not i think every city should have you know a, a bike parade like this yeah the uh, in fact in boulder uh every thursday night is the th uh, the thursday cruiser night ride and so they have a little bit like this every single thursday night in boulder colorado i say why not <laughs> yeah do it yeah so Again, that you can really see the rain has been was coming down pretty hard, and you know, pretty much you and I were in our uh, full-on rain gear, and some of the kids don't even have hats on. Some of the parents don't even have hats on, and and that's fine. Right. right. It wasn't too cold. It got a little chilled uh, as little time chilly. went by, yeah. but. Uh, I don't know. It just it it felt really really fun to be infested to be out there with everybody and the bad weather just made it special, I guess. 
Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I wasn't looking forward to it to begin with, but then, uh, yeah, once it happens, it actually is kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, and the the thing that and you can see the little one there too. I mean, there it's just it it kind of challenges a lot of the uh, sort of the 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 misperceptions of well, you know, clearly you're, you're not going to ride your bike in cold weather. You're not going to ride your bike yeah. in wet weather. You're not going to ride your bike in the snow. It's like, well, why not? <laughs> Yeah, it's a little bit more set up, you know, if you, you're taking a bag, cover your bag. We both yeah. had rain pants and, uh, and rain jackets on and yeah. Uh, and then it was fine. Like you take that off and you're dry underneath. Yeah, yeah. The other thing that uh, in looking at this footage uh, once again is uh, I'm marveling at the number of family cargo bikes. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's such a. It's such a cool thing to see. It's, it's of course, a novelty to us from North America. Yeah. But um, you know, these, these shots are just so, in you know, inspiring and and fun to to actually see them and to get to experience it. Man, it, it's quite beautiful to be out there with all these sparkly lights. Yeah. That guy's with his little chopper bike that you were near. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Uh, it, and I'm I'm amazed that uh, we were able to get the the level of footage that we were able to get. And uh, again, uh, you, everybody, you've got to check out uh, Mark's uh, video that he was able to produce. And then my short video uh, that I produced from this footage, uh, we'll play immediately after this, and we'll 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 chat a little bit about uh, the overall experience. But uh, so earlier in the day, you said you, you went out and you rode in in the uh, in the countryside and, and got I, I think that was probably a really good shakeout ride for you. I mean, I had yeah. to do laundry. You, you went out and had fun. It was great. Yeah. And, I, you know, we've commented on before how kind of amazing it is that you can just count on being able to take your bike in any direction and like know that the connections are going to be there know that it's going to be safe um, and fairly comfortable, right? And so um, they've also got this great network of bike routes that run through the countryside and pretty good wayfinding along the way that's uh, really specific to the to the, the area that you're in. And yeah. so, you know, it was really easy to just go out from town to town and and um, and even places where they were doing construction out there, they had the, they had like, done workarounds for the bike uh, uh the bike paths you yeah. know temporary workarounds that that were still comfortable so yeah that was nice to see yeah and this is uh towards the end here we, we get to the uh the the chocolate break the hot 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 chocolate break but uh, i did pull up a, a photo of of yours so yeah this is oh, from wow. i think yeah. this is from you out in the countryside you actually did uh, uh put some out um you know in our shared folder and uh yeah, so you you were out exploring, getting in some some greenery, which is very this, very cool. Yeah, this is a bit of that wayfinding um, that uh, you know it's a little bit of the character of where you're at. But like yeah. once you get up closer, it gives directions to it gives the larger scale map of where you are in the the grand scheme of things, and then a zoom in map, and it shows things like lodging, cafes, restaurants. And it's like that at each point along the way. So it was like, honestly, a pretty great way to get around, even if you don't have maps turned on or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And uh, after the the event, you and I were, uh, we actually weren't able to, to to go the entire distance of the the, the bike ride for the uh, the the light parade uh, because we had dinner reservations. <laughs> we did. Do you, rem- we do you had- remember the place that we went to? I don't remember the name of it, but we had Stamput. Yeah. And this is a, a traditional Dutch meal. And yeah. describe the restaurant, because I thought the, the restaurant was very, very special. And, and there was a reason why we had to get reservations. Yeah, it was cozy and kind of like tradi- traditional Dutch um, setting. Um, maybe like you're at your mom's. 
It was literally family. Your mom runs a restaurant and you're, and you're sitting in her her living room slash uh, or dining room slash uh, restaurant or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, I think the owner, it said literally that uh, his mother-in-law prepared the dish. (laughs) Yeah. Had she been working on it all day. And so we both had the specials, uh, the daily specials. And uh, uh, and yeah, I, I don't know, maybe there was like at most 15 tables. Very, very small yeah. place. I was a, I was facing the, the front door. So I saw that multiple parties who had been coming in looking to just drop in. And it's like, you know, the reservations only. <laughs> so... Uh, good, good on you. Thank you very much for uh, you know, researching that, finding that restaurant and, uh, and, and get it, setting that reservation. Uh, I felt uh, that was a very, very uh, special dinner to have because it was truly authentic uh, Dutch cuisine uh, made by that owner's family. So it's good stuff. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Great, great way to, to, to cap off that, the, that evening. It was still raining. It was still coming down, <laughs> but uh, yep. it was a it was a nice way to warm up and and really uh, warm the soul. Uh, well, Jordan, um, I'm going to have us uh, all actually play us out with the video uh, that that I produced from the the light parade, and uh, and that'll that'll sort of end this particular episode. But before I do that, uh, just any final thoughts and observations from that evening, uh, that day uh, that we had there. Well, luckily you didn't have the video of me almost wiping out uh, massively. Right. <laughs> and that dur- during was the, a, the light parade? During the light parade, yeah. Okay. There was a time we were going through like the center of the of town and, um, you know, we're all going one direction and I'm on the kind of the left edge of everything. And there's a person coming the other direction who was getting a little impatient, passing somebody, went into our lane. And I mean, we had to have been inches from each other head on going pretty fast. Yeah. And I don't know how I, we both, you know, stayed upright salute to both of us. Mark, uh, Mark had his own little wipeout that he, he yep. sh- shared footage of, but we, yep. the, the two of us stayed upright as far as I, as far as I know. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Mark, Mark did uh, did go down. He uh, he shared that in his video that he produced, which uh, I, again I encourage everybody to click on that link and and see that. Um, and uh, and and I saw him out there uh, during the during the ride, and we were talking about it. He's like, "I went down. I never go down." <laughs> so it was crazy. Yep. Well, happens it was, to the it was, most experienced of us. Yeah. And you and I had, have talked about this uh, multiple times. We were really br- blessed with incredibly good weather the entire trip. Uh, and uh, there were only a couple of days of, of rain out sort of conditions. We kept yeah. riding because, again, we, we know that we're not going to dissolve. We're not made of sugar. <laughs> and uh, and it was just fine. And it was super, super fun to share this experience with you and, and be able to do the, the Den Hog Light Parade. Thank you so much for uh, joining me and doing this uh, look back down in memory lane of of that uh, light parade ride. Yeah, thanks again for the invite. This was fun to to relive. Fantastic. Great. Hey, uh, and, and folks, stay tuned because uh, you'll be able to watch the entire video that I did produce uh, on that, uh, complete with the soundtrack and uh, a little bit of uh, narration. So enjoy. And until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you all Happiness, joy. Wait a minute. What, what, what do I usually say, Jordan? Happiness. Wait, what is it? Happy uh, and much. What it, you're going to have to. This is you, John signing off by to. wishing. <laughs> this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health and happiness. Cheers. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> Okay, we are here in The Hague, doing the Bicycle Light Parade. And it'll be a contest for the kids. See whose bike is decorated the most festive.
And we are at the hot chocolate break. Everyone's having a great time. <laughs> 